Good evening, Wendy. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Good to see you here. Oled, are you there? Good evening. Hello, good evening. Can you listen to me clearly? Yes. Yeah, all right. Uh, let us uh, try to make some time so that the rest of the people can get into the class as we usually do. Uh, you know, um, no sé si ya se enteraron que este, uh, el día lunes continuamos con una clase. Tenemos una clase pendiente para el día lunes. Por este, tu, hubieron algunas fallas técnicas con Zoom que uh, no permitieron que eh, el tiempo que ustedes estuvieron en la sesión quedara guardado. Entonces, en el sistema no aparece ese tiempo y es necesario que sí aparezca, que no les vaya a afectar a ustedes. Entonces, eh, se coordinó que hubiera una, una recuperación de tiempo, digamos, para el día lunes. Siempre el horario va a ser de 8 a 10, con la temática que teníamos ese día. Voy a ver cuál fue. Sí, así escuché ahí el comunicado, teacher. Eh, yo voy a tratar de ahora de participar en lo que pueda. De acuerdo, de, de, Voy a estar ahí de oyente también, pero... Este, por unas cuestiones ahí que, que tengo pendientes, pero voy a estar lo más pendiente posible. De acuerdo, de acuerdo. Eh, esperemos unos minutitos porque pues todavía apenas acaban de cumplirse la hora ocho y hay que, hay que darles unos tres minutos a los demás compañeros para que se puedan integrar. Este, voy a abrir aquí por aquí unas pestañitas que, que tengo pendientes y ya me conecto de nuevo, ¿ok? Ok, copiado, teacher. Okay, now, yes, I think um, I'm ready with everything that I, I, I have here. Well, I will wait for the rest of the people to co to communicate the message I, wa I was, I, I received um, today. And, um, Well, it's about uh, having classes on Monday, okay? So we will continue. Today is not the end. <laughs> Today is not the end, but uh, we, we are still missing a class on Monday. Uh, but, 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 I, I will talk about it later. 
now. Uh, ladies, are you there? Can you listen to me, lady? Ladies? Henry, are you there? Good evening. Carlo Josue, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hey, good, good, evening, good, teacher. good to see you here. So. <laughs> Do me the favor to activate your camera, please. That's important for me and that's important for the program. Okay, that uh, they, they want to see us interacting in the class. Okay, so it is quite important for us to see you with your a camera activated. Hello, Henry. Teacher, so buenas noches. Yo voy a encender la cámara dentro de unos 20 minutos porque todavía no puedo hacerlo. Okay, okay. Okay, and I have Carla. Okay, Carla, if you are still, um, if you're not able to participate tonight, let me know it in the chat, okay? Well, uh, what's going on with Wendy Trejo? I, okay. Well, guys, uh, yesterday we, we worked in a, in some vocabulary, right? Vocabulary about how to describe a workplace. Uh, I wonder if you could finish the activity of the video. Did you finish the activity of the video, people? About the the Easter the Easter factory, we we were like discussing some vocabulary. Who remembers about vocabulary we discussed yesterday? Ah, well, actually, yesterday you were in church of telling me about your person, I mean, a, a, an adjective that describes you, and I need to know about it. Um, uh, well, Juan, Carlos Josue, you told me about the adjective, right, that, describe, that describes you. What was the adjective? What was that adjective, Carlos? Carlos Josue, are you there? Responsible. Ah, you're very responsible, right? You said it yesterday. Uh, Henry, what about you? What is the adjective that describes you? Henry? And ladies, you told me about your adjective yesterday, right? You said kind. I, I don't I don't forget. And let me see, Henry said no, I, I can answer now. Okay. Okay, Henry, I understand. Thank you for letting me know. Esperanza, how are you doing? Good evening. Hope you are better with the with with your um that you are better than yesterday. Oh, And of it, right? So, well, we were discussing, we were talking about some vocabulary such as, um, Wendy, do you remember about the words we studied yesterday night? You couldn't yesterday? No. Oh my goodness, but you haven't seen the video yet then? No. Okay, so Beth, what about you? Do you remember about vocabulary we started yesterday? About the factory, the Easter factory, and about um, the, 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 the 20, no, it was like 16 words we learned yesterday. Well, Ming, while you get ready to, 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 to start with the participation in the class, let me, show you this and you may say hey, teacher but we have studied that in the past yes but what's i mean there's not any problem if we go back and we go or if we uh, move on into another activity but yesterday we were talking about these adjectives right beautiful comfortable huge um high tech uh, narrow dirty ugly small etc right we saw this exercise, 
We also talked about adjectives such as comfortable rooms, huge parking lot, nice places, illuminated training, narrow re reception area, uh, small offices, this tank, this disgusting kitchen, smelly living rooms, etc. So we have been working a lot with vocabulary, with a lot of adjectives such as small, new, clean, smart, unpleasant, tiny, etc. Right now, well, you were also in charge of describing, uh, describing about your classmate, and it says a description of all the areas in your workplace. Okay, but in this case, uh, you are supposed to include positive adjectives, right? And if you wish, you can include negative adjectives. Okay, that's what we started yesterday and we will continue doing so tonight. Uh, tonight also, well, you see, we're gonna be like like working also on providing directions about our place, our workplace. Oh, we have some prepositions of place such as a month, in front of, near, past school, etc. So we will continue doing so tonight. And actually, you see, we are almost done with everything that we have in the book. The book has a forty-eight pictures and we are almost done with it we are almost done we have we have words a lot here and well this is uh something that we need to continue uh, tonight we need to continue working tonight and well actually you had prepared uh, a presentation about your workplace but the only thing that you needed to do is to include to include adjectives that enrich your vocabulary, right? Enrich your presentation, your vocabulary. So I will ask uh, every single person here to tell me about, uh, 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 about or how do you describe your workplace? For example, Obed. How would you describe your workplace? Obed, Obed, are you there? If you're not able to participate now, just let me know it so that I can move on with and try to to interact with some other some other participants. If you're busy now, let me know it. Wendy, hello, Wendy. How would you describe your workplace? Let's try with a different person. Ladies, how do you describe your workplace? It may, I mean, I don't want to have a, a big description right now. Sorry. No, just, no, just tell me. No, 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 huh? Sorry. Uh, okay, Wendy. Uh, okay, uh, Wendy. The office is organized. Okay, so you, you see we have a new word there, organized. Yeah, organized is clean. It is clean. And that seems okay for me. That's yeah. perfect, right? Only two sentences that describe um, the place you were. A uh, lady, ladies, what about you? She is sleeping. And she's uh, sleeping. The baby. Oh, she's sleeping the baby. I'm sorry. Okay. Carlos, can you help her? Um, my work. Is small, is comfortable, small uh, but very, very, very hot, <laughs> and you, clean. You, there's no air conditioning there. No, no, that, that place is very hot. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, but you say it's is um, small but comfortable. That's important, uh-huh. right? Yeah. Small, yeah. comfortable, but with no air conditioning. Yep. <laughs> okay. Okay, Henry, I think Henry is still preparing something there. Jennifer, good evening. Jennifer Hernandez. Well, let's try with a different participant. Gabriela. Gabriela Guardado, hello. Good evening. Present teacher. Okay. Thanks for answer. Uh, listen, uh, Gabriela, how do you describe your workplace or the areas? Okay, provide a description of all the areas in your workplace. Is staying organized in clean? Is organized, clean. Um, organizer. Um, yes. empowerment. All right. Now let me see. We're gonna try to start working deeply in in something over here. You see, yesterday, uh, well, we saw different different adjectives, right? Such as spotless, huge, magnificent, uh, avant-garde, uh, furious, crush, confident, tiny, uh, uh, rapid, ancient, etc. So we studied a lot of vocabulary just at the night, and tonight we're going to we're going to um continue. Okay, um, continue trying to increase our vocabulary. Now, well, in order to take advantage of time, because you know, have a, have a lot of work to do, I will share a list of words that I want you to investigate now. Okay, you will investigate now. I mean, meaning and also pronunciation, and also, if you if you can provide an example about uh, uh, about every single word, it would be really nice. And I will let you know about what's coming soon. Vamos a estudiar 20 palabras. Si ustedes las ven ahí en el chat, okay. Vamos a dividir uh, para que se nos se nos facilite el trabajo. Vamos a dividir. Um, 10 palabras que nos las investiguen los los jóvenes, los los muchachos y de la 11 a la 20 pues que nos las investiguen las damas. De la 1 a la 10 los caballeros, de la 11 a la 20 las damas. Ok, ¿qué vamos a buscar con este vocabulario? Eh, en realidad, si ustedes se fijan el tema que nos que nos compete es eh, acerca de ups, I was not supposed to share that. Que nos compete es acerca de, de lugares de trabajo, ok, pero nos hemos enfocado eh, a, a, al espacio en sí, ¿verdad? Al clima, si es, las oficinas es grande o es pequeña, si es, es cómoda o, o hay dificultades, etc. Pero también es importante que hablemos acerca de el ambiente laboral, ok, uh, el vocabulario que yo he este, incluido esta noche es, en su mayoría, referente a eso. Entonces, este, para comenzar, necesito que investiguen ¿verdad? las 20 palabras. Del 1 al 10, los caballeros. Del 11 al 20, las damas. ¿Qué vamos a hacer después de haber, de haber este, obtenido significados, ejemplos, pronunciación, etcétera, de estas 20, solo son 20 palabras, ¿ok? ¿Qué vamos a hacer después de eso? Bueno, primero, investigar, ya lo dije. Segundo, vamos a 
continuar describiendo nuestros lugares de trabajo. Y vamos a ver cómo podemos lograr que esos lugares de trabajo sean mucho, mucho más bonitos de lo que ya son. Yo me imagino que ustedes trabajan en, en lugares y ambientes saludables. Y pues es bueno que también describamos de alguna manera cómo, cómo son esos lugares y cómo pues nos sentimos ahí. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Yes, okay. Bye. No voy a hacer grupos, no voy a hacer grupos porque tal parece que cuando hago grupos como que alguno o que otro este, participante de repente tiene dificultades. Pues ahora no, como ya los dividí en damas y caballeros y ya les asigné trabajo, entonces vamos a invertir, que 15 minutos, ok, 15 minutos, con 15 minutos sacamos pues vocabulario, pronunciación, etc. Eh, teacher, eh, Nike, eh, este, yo hasta ahorita eh, me acabo de conectar, no, 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 no terminaba de llegar a casa, pero ya estoy aquí. Eh, eh, solamente preguntarle, este, sería lo, 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 lo que usted escribió en el chat, las, las palabras que escribió en el chat. Exactly, exactly. Ahí tenemos fun, challenging, friendly, engaging, reporting, collaborative, flexible, supporting, exciting, caring, family, professional, busy, fast-paced, innovative, teamwork, Motivating, positive, comfortable, and integrity. O sea, son 20 palabras que hay que investigar ahorita y que están relacionadas al trabajo. Cuando terminemos, no, los chicos los van a ir explicando y las chicas en su momento también. Y cuando ya tengamos una, de, una idea bastante clara de qué es ese vocabulario, entonces vamos a empezar a trabajar en o seguir trabajando en la descripción del lugar donde nosotros laboramos. ¿Ok? Le podemos seguir este, reciclando vocabulario que ya venimos este, practicando, que es comfortable, tiny, or huge, etc. Pero también le vamos a incluir a esa presentación, eh, le vamos a, a, a añadir okay, cómo es el ambiente laboral. ¿Verdad? Si, se, si hay este trabajo en equipo, si hay, si hay un ambiente amigable, etc. O sea, le vamos a incluir eso. Eh, tenemos 15 minutos porque, porque si, si, si no empezamos ahorita, pues no nos va a alcanzar el tiempo. Voy a darle 15 minutos. Por aquí voy a estar. Ustedes saben que pues me quedo calladito, los dejo trabajando, pero aquí estoy tratando de asistirles. Eh, uh, teacher, solamente, solamente este, fíjese de que ahorita estoy viendo yo en mi teléfono que yo la estuve escribiendo en el traductor, pero creo que no, no está, no, no las tengo, eh, no me guardó, lo, lo, o, sea, no, ah. o sea, no lo escribí en papel, sino que solo lo escribí en el traductor, todas las, las palabras. Ajá. La, sí, no sé si me las podría compartir. Sí, sí, de ahí las, las comparto de nuevo en el chat, Luis. En, en WhatsApp o aquí mismo. A, aquí mismo, ahí en el, aquí mismo en el chat. Ah, listo. Gracias. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right. Okay, now, 15 minutes. Ya saben que soy bastante puntual con los yo digo 15 minutos, son 15 minutos. Me gusta, pues, ayer sí les, les di 5 minutos extra, pero ahora pues, vamos con 15 minutos para tratar de aprendernos estas 20 palabras. A la cuenta de 3, 1, 2, and 3. Let's work on that. Good luck.
ahorita vinieron. Hey, remember the purpose of this activity is for you to get as much um, knowledge about vocabulary, pronunciation, meaning, and we, we're going to try to uh, include this vocabulary into a presentation related to our workplace. That's what we are doing tonight, okay? You are missing five minutes more, and we are going to start with it.
Okay. Did you finish? Did you get the vocabulary, ladies and gentlemen? Hello, hello. Good evening. Uh, two more. Okay, so uh, I will give you three minutes then. Three. All right now, yes, right. I think that everything's already set. Okay, this the, the first part of the activity. I think we could solve it perfectly. Espero que hayamos podido resolver la primera parte de la actividad. Que era investigar vocabulario, pronunciación, significado. Para luego poder entrar a la siguiente fase que es Continuar describiendo nuestro lugar de trabajo. Pero ahora vamos a utilizar el vocabulario que, que encontramos ahorita. Ok. Now, let me see. Vamos a chequear así un poco rápido el significado de, de las palabras. I will ask some of you to tell me. I mean, any, every, anybody can tell me the meaning of the word. Ok. What about fun? What's the meaning? Fun. Diversión. Uh, okay, so it's maybe uh, fun. It can be like that, right? Challenging. 
Desafiante. Desafiante. Friendly. Amigable. Amistoso. All right. Engaging. Participar. Uh, okay, so but remember these are uh, adjectives, right? So if, if say fun, divertido, challenging, desafiante, friendly, mm -hmm. be amistoso. amigable, right? Mm -hmm. uh, amistoso. No. Engaging. Participante. Participativo, okay. Ah. Uh, recording. Contra ataque. Recompensa. Uh, okay, gratificante, okay. Gratificante. Collaborative. Colaborativo. Like flexible. Flexible. Supportive. Apoyo. Ah. Supportive. Apoyan, uh, apoyo. Ok. Exciting. Emocionante. Emocionante. Caring. Cariñosa. Cuidado. Eh, family. Familia. Familia. Professional. Profesional. Profesional. Busy. Ocupado. Ocupado. Paid, uh, fast paced. Acelerado. Acelerado. Ritmo. In, in no, Ritmo. Eh, yeah, innovative. Innovador. Innovador. Teamwork. Trabajo de equipo. equipo. Motivating. Motivador. Motivador. Positive. Positivo. Positivo. Comfortable. Como. Como. In, integrity. Honestidad. Okay, so now we have 20 new words, right? Uh, well, since we don't have time enough, uh, you're going to get the meaning of those words in English, right? So it would be pretty nice if you get your glossary, uh, I mean a glossary in, in, in English, right? 100% of English. Now that you know the vocabulary in Spanish, it would be really nice if you get uh, extra vocabulary from those 20 words. Ahora que ya tenemos eh, el significado, pues quiero, quiero ver este, quiero chequear la pronunciación, ¿ok? Como ustedes lo están pronunciando. Let me see, lo voy a leer del chat mejor. Ok, anybody, anybody in the group. Number one, pronúnceme la, la, la primera palabra, por favor. Anybody. Juan. Friend. Number two. Fun. Fun. Number two. Challenging. 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 Number three. Friendly. Friendly. Number four. Engaging. Engaging, right? Engaging. Engaging. Number Engaging. five. Engaging. Reward. Rewarding. Rewarding. Number six. Collaborative. 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 Number, number seven. Flexible. 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 Number eight. Supportive. 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 Number nine. Exciting. Exciting. Number ten. Caring. Caring. Number eleven. Family. Family. Number twelve. Professional. Professional. Professional number 13. Busy. 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 Okay, busy. Number 14. Uh, uh, fast fast paced. Number 15. Innovative. 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 Number 16. Teamwork. 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 Number 17. Motivating. 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 Number 18. Positive. 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 Number 19. Comfortable. 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 Uh, number 20. Integrity. 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 Yeah. Now, pretty good. Now, listen carefully because you need to use as, as many words as possible into your presentation. ¿Se acuerdan que ya tienen elaborada una presentación? ¿verdad? Eh, sobre esa presentación, ustedes van a incluir el vocabulario que hemos estado estudiando o que hemos pues invertido un poco de tiempo para empezar a familiarizarnos con ellas. La mejor manera de aprendernoslas es poniéndolas en práctica. Uh, ahora que ya vimos pronunciación, significado, ahora sí, vamos con la siguiente parte del trabajo de esta noche, que es uh, incluir ese vocabulario en su presentación. Ok. Um, 
No sé si hay alguna pregunta antes de someternos a la actividad. ¿Cuál es la presentación? Sí, sí. ¿Perdón, Carlos? ¿Cuál es la presentación? La presentación en donde nos describieron su lugar de trabajo, en donde me ah, decían okay, okay. Okay, la oficina okay, okay. es pequeña, hay sí, unos pasillos sí, sí. angostos. O sea, ya lo describieron de manera física. Ahora vamos a, a tratar de incluir también en esa presentación eh, nuestro ambiente laboral. Eh, teacher, eh, ¿y es necesario que vayan los 20? <risa> no, 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 Luis, por eso yo le decía, es necesario que incluyan cuantos ustedes puedan. Pueden ser 8, 10, 12, bueno, si, si logran incluir los 20, pues eso sería genial. Estaría súper, súper genial. Pero si no, pues con unos 10, 12, 12 palabritas, pues yo estaría satisfecho. Ahora... Sí. Ahora, fíjense que, bueno, eh, no sé si está bien con 15 minutos para que logremos incluir ese vocabulario. ¿Cuánto? 15, 15 minutos, mucho. Muy poco. No, yo creería que con 15 está bien, ok. Con 15 minutos está bien. Quiero ver, ok. Exactamente a las 9. Yo voy a empezar a preguntar, ¿ok? Y sí le voy a pedir que participemos eh, todos, por favor. Que, que, ah, bueno, antes de irnos a, a la actividad, quiero, quiero decirles que el lunes continuamos con una clase. Y les voy a aclarar por qué. Porque este Zoom, según entiendo, fue el 17 de marzo, no, eh, no guardó el tiempo que ustedes estuvieron en la sesión. Entonces, ese tiempo les está, les, les está afectando en, en el récord de, de, de notas, ¿verdad? Pero para solventar la situación y que, y que no les perjudique en su tiempo, eh, se coordinó que el día lunes tengamos clases en el mismo horario, de 8 a 10. Eh, se va a tratar la temática que vimos en, en aquel entonces. Por supuesto, yo voy a buscar otras actividades para no estar este, repitiendo lo mismo, ¿verdad? Eh, no sé si hay preguntas al respecto. Y si no, pues nos vamos ya directo a la actividad. 15 minutos para incluir ese vocabulario. Eh, no sé si lo tienen en digital, porque sería bueno que, que lo tuvieran por ahí o que lo pudieran este, incluir en una PowerPoint. Parece que lo trabajaron en una PowerPoint. ¿verdad? Si lo tienen en una PowerPoint, pues nada más vayan, vayan tratando de enriquecerlo con el vocabulario. Y si pueden eh, resaltar el vocabulario que han usado esta noche, háganlo para que nosotros todos podamos ver que ustedes lo han puesto en práctica ahí. ¿Ok? 15 minutos. 15 minutos. Y si, si acaso necesitan más, pues lo alargamos a 20 minutos. Ok, are you ready? Ready? Yes. Ready. Okay. More than ready. Hey, necesito que, se, que quede genial esa presentación, ok? See you in 15 minutes. Lo veo en 15 minutos.
five minutes more. Remember the purpose, right? Remember the goal. The goal is to include vocabulary and describe your workplace the best way you can. Okay, time's over. Now, do you finish? No. That's why I said no. What about the rest? You still need some more time? Yep. Uh, about five minutes more. Five minutes more would be enough, right? All right. Okay.
All right. Hello there. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Henry. Hello. Now, hello, hey, hello. Henry, could you finish? Did you finish, Henry? Yep. Yeah. Okay, Carlos yeah. is done. Henry is done. Very good. What about you, Juan Carlos? Ladies, Fatima, Luis, Wendy, Esperanza, Gabriela, Jennifer, Denise, Ove, Daniel. Yes, I do, teacher. <laughs> Solo que la pronunciación no la he terminado de, de repasar muy bien. Y como le voy a ser sincero, yo lo trabajo en, en el, en el, en el, en el, ¿cómo le llaman? En el, ¿El en, en el traductor, en el teléfono. Y ya cuando tengo demasiada frase o demasiado largo el texto, ya no me lo reproduce. Entonces ya no puedo escuchar bien cómo se pronuncia, sino que yo me lo pongo a deletrear así, a los chapeteados. Ok, ok. Es, es recomendable que si le sucede eso, que pues ponga frases pequeñas o palabras, ¿verdad? Para que se asegure que su pronunciación es la, es la más certera. Ok, let's see. We're going to start. We're going to start in... Well, I hope everybody could finish the activity. Espero que todos hayan podido terminar la actividad. Let's see. We're going to start with... Uh, Henry. Okay, Henry. Okay, teacher. Solo una duda. Tengo que comenzar con lo que mencioné el, el otro día de la oficina y agregarle algo de vocabulario de lo de hoy. Exactly. Okay. Bueno. Uh, good, good evening. Uh, I work on Monday at the office in San Salvador. The office is located on the Olympic Avenue in front of Banco de Vivienda. Bank de Vivienda. My office. There are 10 offices. There is one for engineer. There are two for communication. There are four sure in the community facilitator. There is one for coordinator. There is one for accountant. There is one for director director of operation. There is one for finance. finance. <laughs> there is an auditorium. And engineer work designed for infrastructure work. The operation team we work in community from Tuesday to Thursdays. I have co-workers who are very funny. Working in communities is very challenging. There are leaders in the community who are very collaborative. Accompaniment process in communities must be flexible and dynamic. My work is also exceeding because we have the opportunity to help many people. Thank you, teacher. Henry, that was awesome. You know, awesome, right? A W E S O M E, awesome. Estuvo genial. Hey, la verdad lo felicito, aunque okay, pues uh, to todavía no les voy a dar este el feedback que, el que usualmente les doy a mis estudiantes <coughs> cuando finalizamos un curso, porque todavía nos queda pendiente la clase de lunes. Sin embargo, yo les hago un llamado a que se autoevalúen. Este ya, porque el lunes se los voy a preguntar. Como entraron al básico 1, como salieron, están satisfechos, medio satisfechos, no están nada satisfechos, pues ese día me lo van a decir. Pero con la presentación que acaba de hacer Henry, pues yo me siento 
orgulloso, orgulloso de, de lo que él ha logrado y yo creo que los demás también lo van a hacer. Pero solo hay detallitos, Henry, hay detallitos de pronunciación porque si, eh, siempre este, hay cositas que se nos quedan como este, un poquito pendientes. Pero yo, yo le, le animo a que revise vocabulario, ¿ok? Y que se asegure que efectivamente está usando la pronunciación correcta. Por otra okay, parte, okay. si leyó la información, me gustaría que pues, se aprendiera la información y que sepa perfectamente cada detalle de su presentación. Que si usted se, dio, se ha dado cuenta, uh, esta actividad no es una actividad de que ahora la empezamos y ahora ya la ya llegamos hasta aquí en, en cuestión de, de 15 o media hora, no es. La hemos trabajado durante un par de noches. Pero felicidades. Uh, okay. ¿No de volunteer? ¿Es de volunteer? Carlos Josué. Hello. Ok, Carlos Josué, go ahead. My word play is small but very comfortable officer and really like my work because my corner are friendly and comparative. I have a lot of support from them and considering them my family. Seeing speed a lot of time with them. When I'm busy, they they help me. Great work team. They are really professional and flexible. And that is why the motivator used to our job well. That's it. That's it. That's fantastic also. And uh, you. Uh, congrats for your pronunciation. I can see that you pay special attention to the vocabulary and you used a lot of vocabulary from tonight's class. That's what I was looking for, actually. Okay, so congrats. And uh, well, uh, later I will, I will provide a, a general feedback about, about what we have reached, okay, about the goals we have gotten. Uh, is there any other person who wants to participate in this activity? We still have a lot of time. And uh, Luis, I don't know if you're ready, Luis. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, you are ready. Okay, so go ahead. Go ahead, yes. Luis. Hey, the uh, bimbo in the Salvador, uh, she are many collaborative people in tag work. A status a state make it very it very reward reward and very and break flexible with every jumps supports you much so tight so tight summiting or work way comes very emotional do it to diving shining thing and with excellent family way bank and make of smart professional and innovative and hang motivated and wise hang in hand with Everything, integrity. Awesome, a great day for Luis. Now you can see that you're improving now, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So, what what would be the next challenge? What would challenge. what would be the next challenge? What would be the next challenge? Que lo que ustedes digan, lo, lo digan sin necesidad de, de hacer una lectura. Es el siguiente reto que tenemos, ¿verdad? 
eh, yo sé que es un proceso, pero es, es, es bien gratificante cuando nosotros ya logramos decir o hacer una presentación de unos dos minutitos y pues lo hacemos eh, de la manera como usted eh, lo presentó ahorita, con muy buena pronunciación, se ve el esfuerzo, ¿ok? Ahora el challenge es decirlo sin, le sin la necesidad de hacer lectura, ¿ok? Eso va para todos. Ok, congrats, please. That was quite good. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Uh, Fátima, are you ready? Miss Molina. Well, Fátima. Uh, Wendy Trejo, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, so let's let's go for it. My workplace is comfortable because people work as a team. My colleagues are fun and professional. Something my boss is busy, innovating with ideas. The place is friendly. We are a family with integrity and collaborators. That's it. Excellent, excellent pronunciation, Wendy. Uh, I could notice that you were also paying special attention to pronunciation. That was that was quite good. Uh, es, eso lo debemos de aprender este, todos, que antes de hacer una presentación, debemos de revisar nuestra pronunciación. Algunas veces nos aprendemos o creemos que una palabra se dice de una forma cuando realmente la pronunciación es otra. Eh, veo que en sus presentaciones han puesto eh, especial atención a ello y por eso pues me, me alegra. Eh, thank you, Wendy. That was quite good. Uh, ladies, are you ready? Yes, it is. Okay, ladies, I go done. ahead. You are done. Good. Um, okay. I work in the municipal mayor's office of La Unión. Located on the first is Street and General Cabañas Avenue. El Centro Neighborhood, La Unión. In front is the central park of the city and next to the park, the church. Also around, it is the country chicken restaurant, two pharmacies and two banks. Similarly, business. My position is Secretary of General Management and I have a comfortable office, similarly a bedroom in good condition, air conditioning and everything necessary to carry out my duties. We work in the family environment for spending most of the time there, counting on the healthy environment. That's all, teacher. That's all. Oh, that was awesome. That was also awesome. That was fantastic. Oh. I really like uh, something that, 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 that I really like about your presentations about uh, about um, a pronunciation of plur pluralization of nouns, that's quite important. Cuando nosotros pluralizamos los nombres, tenemos que hacer ese sonido que Lady se encargó perfectamente de, de acentuarlo en su presentación. Por ejemplo, cuando decimos house, el plural de house, sabemos que houses. Algunas veces en, en los niveles básicos, cuando hacemos presentaciones, pues se nos olvida de incluir eso, esos sonidos, ¿verdad? Algo muy, muy básico, pero muy significativo. Aparte de eso, eh, pude notar que incluyó vocabulario que no hemos visto en clase. Eh, ¿Quién la va a detener o quién los va a detener 
si ustedes incluyen otras cosas que no hemos visto acá, eh, creo que nadie lo va a hacer, ¿verdad? Eh, al contrario, yo siempre los he animado desde que inició esto, les animé a que si hay algo que, nos, que yo no he enseñado aquí y lo quieren traer a clase, yo solo les pedí que se aseguraran que lo, aprendí, que lo aprendieran bien. Eso es todo. Así que, pues, it was fantastic. Thank you, ladies. And, You're welcome, to say. And congrats, because you, have, you are improving your pronunciation and getting more vocabulary. Uh, let me see. Uh, I don't know if Wendy is ready now, because I can see. No, that was Fatima, right? So are you ready, Fatima? Or do you still need some more time? Let me see. Well, I know Esperanza is sick, right? Creo que Esperanza está nada más de oyente, ha estado enfermita de su garganta. Pero si en caso desea participar, lo puede hacer. No hay problema. Eh, Jennifer Rivas. Uh, Denise, are you ready? Okay, Fatima, I can see your message in the chat. You have so much time. Uh, Obed, are you ready? Daniel? Evelyn Janira? Gabriela, but uh, who's ready now? Present teacher. Okay, are you ready, Gabriela? Yes. Pretty good, so go ahead. Hello, Gabriela. Ready? Solo que quería proyectar la presentación. Y... Ah, oh, I'm sorry. I will, uh, I will activate. Okay, now I can... you can do it now. You can do it now, Gabriela. My word is distribuidora Moraza. How is my word? My word is rewarding, rewarding because I love what I do. This motive to learn more, learn more. The team's world is fun. They make me feel supporting. Is exit, exiting work in this space with professional. Gracias. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, your job is rewarding, okay, because you know what you do, motivating because you learn more about your job. 
uh, uh, since uh, uh, as you said, well, the, the environment is quite good because you work as a team work. Excellent, excellent team. Now, I think that's quite important, right? To know about, about the environment at, at, at work. Okay. Oh, thank you very much. You did it. You did it, Gabriela. What about Jessica? Are you ready, Jessica? Evelyn, are you ready? Well, I think we're gonna stop over here. If, if there is anybody who wants to participate. <laughs> no, you did 7-Eleven. Uh, when did you do 7-Eleven? Se merecen más que el 10, en realidad. En realidad se merecen más que el 10. Solo eh, una observación para los, las personas que pues, no han participado. Recuérdense que van a moverse a un nivel eh, un poquito más, uh, un poquito, va, van, a, van a subir, ¿verdad? A un nivel de inglés con otro docente, eh, otro estilo de enseñanza, y necesito que, pues, que, que, sean, que sean más, um, you know, brave, más valientes, y, se, y, y, y este... Y se animen a participar más en las clases. Eso les va a ayudar, no se imaginan cuánto. Y si no solo observen aquellos compañeros que siempre están como queriendo participar, y nada más observenlos y se van a dar cuenta que es, algunas veces son los, las personas que como que aprenden un poquito más, más rápido. Entonces, pues, eh, solo eso les, les, les digo a aquellos que, pues, que, que no participan mucho, que, que se animen. Que se animen, que la verdad que acá en, las, en los cursos, si nos equivocamos, no pasa nada. Lo único que va a suceder es que vamos a mejorar. Vamos a tratar de, de, um, de solventar aquellos problemas con respecto al aprendizaje del idioma. Ok. Eh, now, we're going to try to move on to the activities that we have in the book, okay? Well, uh, as you can see over here, this is where we finished, right? This is the part that we have finished so far. Uh, to the partner, a description of all the areas in your workplace. Miren, hasta aquí nos pedía el libro. Lo logramos, bueno, cada quien eh, haga su valoración, si lo logró. En, en qué medida lo, lo logró a un 100%, 90, 70, a usted autoevalúense, pero el, el libro nos pedía que describiéramos nuestro lugar de trabajo eh, de una manera física, ¿verdad? pero ahora le incluimos algo más y ustedes saben a qué me refiero. Uh, now, well, we will continue talking about directions. You see, tell somebody about directions of, of somewhere, my workplace, and someone, someone else uh, are located. Uh, over here, you have an example about what I want you to complete, okay? And you will see some uh, parts later where, where information about you will be included. A example that I have here is something related to uh, the information of an employee whose name is Mauricio Quintanilla. See, name, Mauricio Quintanilla. Office, main phone, and the person provides a main phone, right? 7203, ah, something that you need to keep in mind is that when you say the numbers in English, you know numbers in English, right? Cuando dicen los números telefónicos, no dicen cero, zero, no, dicen O, oh, 7203-9164. Ok, this is O, oh. lo dicen como O. Oh. Eh, workplace, ok, the name of the place is Arrows Technology Company. We have the address, it's on the Roosevelt Street in the First Avenue. 
number 853, Santa Cecilia, uh, San Salvador, right? Job position, software designer, department production, and it, it has an ID, right? So if you have an ID, you will include it. Or if you don't have, you will invent it. Okay, you will read again the employee's information and circle which of the alter alternate directions below and is the correct one. Look at the map on page 39. Well, uh, we're gonna go over the page 39. Well, this one is the 45, right? So you can go over the page 39 and see where it is located. And tell me where is the where is this place located? Because it says it's um which of the alternative direction below is the correct one. Where is the correct one, people? It's over here, right? Now, can, can you read the information in the page 45? So then you go to this page and tell me what is the correct, uh, the correct um, address. It's number three. It is the number three? Yes. What is number three? It is located on Roosevelt Street between the restaurant and book work. It is located on the Roosevelt Street between the restaurant and the book work. Okay, do you agree? Did you get it, people? So number three is the one, right? Number three, pretty good. So over here we have some other prepositions. So plates are gonna be useful. Now where's the part located? It is located among many places. So you see, we have more prepositions, right? The ones that we studied the previous days uh, were like in, on, and at. Over here, we're going to encounter some others such as among, such as in front of, uh, such as near, such as past. And we have some examples here. Uh, where's the part? It is located among many places you know if you don't if you don't know the meaning of this word you should look for it where is the sport place located palace located is located on barrio street in front of the park so where is the mall located it's located near the restaurant near where's the church it's located past the school so we have uh, this uh, preposition, we have some others, such as along, in front of, behind or behind, next to, between, across, past, and under. Now, if we, in order to complete uh, the following conversation, we need to use a preposition from the box, okay, the ones that we have just read. We need to go over the page 39 and look at the map. Okay, so you see, look at the map. If you don't know the meaning of this word, look for it. The same with this one. It's behind, next to, between, across, past, and under. Okay, so go to the page 39 and tell me. Which of these ones is the correct uh, word to complete the first statement? 
the sport palace is the bank. What is the option or what is the what is the the preposition that we need to use here? You see, you need to you need to go to this pitch, right? In front of in front of the bank. Now, are you sure? Oops, sorry. No. Are you sure, people? The sport palace is in front of the bank. Behind. It's in front or it's behind or behind? Behind. Behind a bank. Yes. It's not in front, but it's behind. Okay. What about number two? The city hall. You know, the city hall. Somebody talked about the city hall tonight. The city hall, the church and the book were, where is it located, people? Hello? Be, be, be. Where is the city hall located? Along, in front of, behind, next to, between, across, or past, or under? the church and the book were past. The city hall is past the church and the book were Well, I'm sorry, but I'm not seeing the map, so I will trust Hey, you, voy a creer en ustedes que lo están viendo acá en el, en el, en el mapa, okay? What about number three? The restaurant is First Avenue. Teacher. Hello. Uh, in, the, in number two, uh, in español, <laughs> sería el ayuntamiento ha pasado. No, I mean, you know the city hall, right? What's the sí. meaning of the city hall? Um, eh, es que lo, lo escribí aquí en el traductor y con la frase que agregó el compañero, pues bueno, eso me ha, me ha salido en español como respuesta. Por eso okay. le pregunté. Ok, pasando between. la iglesia. Uh, sorry? Between. It's between, it's not past the church. Yes. So in the, in the second one is between. So make sure about it, please. B, I, I'm, I trust, I'm trusting you. I trust you. Estoy confiando que ustedes me están dando bien la dirección. What about the restaurant? Number three. Number three. What about the restaurant? Dice, yo tengo una duda. Eh, donde dice past, eh, el significado, obviamente si lo pongo en el traductor me pone como pasado, pero no sé en forma de dirección qué significa. Now if I if I say for example, uh, if I let us see, if I say the church and the city hall are past the park, if if you uh, type this in in the in a in a translator, you will see the real meaning when providing direction. Yeah, it's because 
Eso es lo que tiene inglés, ¿verdad? Que ahí depende de, 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 del contexto. Ahorita, pues, si ahí le dice pasado, es porque está correcto como se lo está dando, pero no es el contexto en el que lo estamos usando acá. Que acá es de dar direcciones, pasando, ¿verdad? Pasando por. Por park. Yeah. So that will be a different meaning. Ok. Is it clear? Yes. Thanks. Yeah, okay, very good. Now, what about number three, people? The restaurant is First Avenue. Across. The restaurant is Across. Is past First Avenue. Is past is Pass First Avenue. Somebody says across the First Avenue. Across. Yeah, you remember about across, right? Right. Look for it, okay. Pero es que si es across, es como al lado de, y no está al lado de. No yeah, está no. pasando. Yeah. Oh. Eh, eh, is, a, is a, past. Past, past First Avenue. Okay. <laughs> past First Avenue. Well, I'm trusting you. I will check it later. Don't worry. And the church and the city hall are the park. And the church is along the park. Just tell me one answer. I mean, uh, there's going to be a homework for you to, to, to solve it tomorrow, right? I mean, ahorita me van a decir lo que la que consideran ustedes es la más, es la acertada. Pero sin embargo, lo van a estar estudiando. Y si hay algo que corregir, me lo dicen mañana. Eso les va a quedar de tarea. No, I'm sorry. A Monday. <laughs> Not tomorrow, but a Monday. <laughs> Okay, so just to give me one, I mean. What do you see in the map, people? Where is the church and the city hall? Where are this, the church and the city hall? Well, on the... On the uh, under, under, under the park. The park. Well, keep studying this info, okay, and uh, uh, compare it with the park, uh, I mean, with the map, because later we're going to go over it and we're going to uh, study um, more about these prepositions along in front of, behind, next to, between, across, and past, and under. Now, it's because of the time we're going to move uh, to the next part. It says, your turn. Complete the following employee's information about someone else. Uh, uh, well, you, you're going to do it first by using your own, your own information. Voy a completar esto utilizando su, su información personal. Acá nos pide que, pues, hagamos, que escribamos lo de alguien más, pero comencemos por nosotros mismos, ¿ok? Completemos esta parte. Y cuando ya lo terminen, el primero que termine, pues me lo hace saber y me, y me hace su presentación. Me dice cuál es su, su nombre, el lugar donde trabaja, el teléfono. Si, si no quieren, pues eh, dar el teléfono real, pues pueden inventarse un número. Eh, job position, department, address. Si no, tienen, si no tienen un ID, se lo inventan también, ¿ok? 
Ok, five minutes. Cinco minutos lo, lo hacemos. Okay, five minutes for you to complete. Teacher. Hello, 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 Luis. Dice que yo en el teléfono no puedo, no puedo escribir en, 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 lo, en lo que es el libro. Yo siento que sí he fallado porque no, no encuentro la manera de cómo, cómo no, escribirlo. Pues, lo que puede libro. hacer, Luis, es tener un cuernito así en físico y, e ir ah. escribiendo la, la información ahí. Yes. Ok, so let's work that way. Ok, five minutes, people. Ya casi terminamos hoy. Sí que nos hizo falta un poco de tiempo. Pero creo que sí le hemos sacado ventaja a las actividades. Ok, five minutes, people. Five. Okay, meanwhile you're working on that. Voy a pasar la lista. Así rapidito. Carlos Josué. Present Elizabeth, Denise. Hello, Denise. Edgardo Daniel. Edwin. Ellen Nilsson. Esperanza is there. Evelyn Yanira. Fátima Michel. Fátima Michel. Gabriela Jazmín. Present teacher. Henry Giovanni. Present teacher. Jennifer Guadalupe. Jennifer Guadalupe. Okay, Fatima is there and Jeff and Jennifer also. Okay. Eh, Carlos, Juan Carlos. Carla María is there. Ladies there. Present teacher. Okay. Luis José is there. Present no. teacher. I saw Bed, I know Bed is in the class. Wendy Carolina. Present. Okay, Wendy. Oh. William. Jennifer Madali. And Jessica Noemi. Present teacher. Okay.
Okay, now we are done with it. Okay, did you get the info? Uh, as quickly as possible, because we are gonna try to finish with the class by solving uh, an exercise in the platform. Anybody who wants to, to share information, uh, uh, the, the employee's information, the information you got, Okay, who wants to share this info? Jessica, would you please, could you please share the information about uh, I mean, the employee's information. Lo estoy haciendo ahorita porque no encontraba la página, teacher. Okay. Somebody in the group who finished already, who already finished. Okay. I'm ready, teacher. Okay. Oh. So, Carlos, was, no, it's ladies first, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, ladies first. Okay. okay. After lady, we have Carlos Josue. Okay. Um, name? You may, uh, you may say, my name is, okay. I work in... Okay, my name is Lady Cecibel Martinez de Portillo. I work in Municipal Mayor of La Unión. Steven. My uh, number phone, the office is 75505. A A one and nine. My job positions is management secretary and department is La Union. Uh, the others uh, for the workplace is first uh, is Street and General Cabañas Avenue, downtown Newporthood, La Unión. My ID is NQ1338815. That's it. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Pretty Thank good. You. Now we have Carlos, right? What about you? What about you, Carlos Josue? I don't ready, teacher. Are you, you're not ready yet? G give, me, give me one one minute. Okay. Anybody else? Yes, teacher. Uh, okay, Henry. Henry is ready. Okay, my name is Giovanni Rivas. Office may phone seven six five six four three one two. Workplace San Salvador, Santa Ana City. Job position position. Sure and community coordinator and facilitator, department Santa Ana, address Reyes Street, Seferino Mancia Avenue, Box mm -hmm. Center, El Congo, ID 
four, five, six, eight, two, seven. Thank you. Thank you, Henry. Uh, who else is ready? Is there anybody else in the group that's ready now? Me, teacher. Okay, Wendy, thank you. Go ahead. My name is Wendy Trejo. I work at Cemetery La Bermeja. My main phone is 601093 my job position is cashier, department finance, address at Boulevard Venezuela, number 1617, three blocks about a large illustrious cemetery on the unlevel passage near Gustatran Park. ID 12. 36. Thank you, Wendy. Very good. Good info about uh, about about you. Anybody else? Um, We're almost done. I'm ready, teacher. Well, now that you're ready, you can start, Carlos. Okay. My name is Carlos Jose Portillo. My number phone is seven five zero. Three, seven, nine, seven, eight. Work the workplace is municipal mayor of La Union. My job position is warehouse manager, department La Union. My address is the Fear Ace Street and General Cabanas Avenue. Downtown neighborhood, La Union. My my number ID is zero three nine three five three four zero. ¿Cómo se dice guión? Hyphen. Hyphen six. Okay, pretty good. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, now as you can see over here. Uh, well, you you provided your name, you provided you, the office or the main phone of the place you work, uh, the name of the workplace, your job position. Uh, you know, in in the different companies, there are there are some departments, right? It was it was okay if you told me like uh, it teacher. is located in Santa Ana. Etc. You provided the address, Luis. Eh, teacher, no, lo, eh, lo, lo, lo que yo, eh, bueno, había entendido hace en esta presentación en el departamento, bueno, aquí dice la posición, va, qué posición utilizamos y eh, eh, departamento sería el departamento donde donde laboramos o sería el departamento laboral en el cual pertenecemos. Ajá, acá pues se refiere a, al departamento. A la, a la oficina a la que usted pertenece. Ajá. Yes, yes, do. Thank you. No, pero, pero decir a Santa Ana, pues eh, también estuvo bien, porque. This is the no, good question. Yeah, I thought that was a good question. Okay, is there anybody else? If, if well, you know, time is almost gone, right? So. Well, you will have to work in the in the missing activities over here. Estas actividades, pues miren, fueron unas poquitas que nos quedaron afuera. Y yo sé que son uh, ejercicios que ustedes perfectamente los pueden completar. Eh, pedirles de favor que si todavía no han terminado el final test, que lo hagan. Porque pues, necesita, necesitamos ver los resultados que ustedes han obtenido. Eh, yo el día de mañana voy a dedicarme a actualizar sus datos para que ya pues queden reflejados y que, y que los compañeros pues, ya puedan eh, recoger la información. 
el lunes nos encontramos, si Dios permite, eh, nos vemos siempre a las 8, de 8 a, a 10 de la noche. En realidad ha sido muy, muy placentero estar acá con ustedes, escucharles. Si ustedes se fijan, en las últimas sesiones, quienes han trabajado arduamente han sido más ustedes que yo. Pero el objetivo es que ustedes se den cuenta que haciendo es cuando más se aprende. Creando es cuando más se aprende. Entonces, hay momentos en donde yo siempre asigno espacios para que ustedes creen algo. Y eso pues vuelve el aprendizaje como más significativo. Uh, si no hay dudas o alguna, alguna consulta, pues nos vemos el día lunes, primero de eso. Uh, no question. Good night, everybody. Ok, good night, Carlos. Luis. Thank you, Thank you teacher. Okay, Luis, no good question, night, Luis. Okay, good night, good night. Luis, Bye. no question, Luis. No question. Okay, so let's let's meet on Monday. Good night, people. Good night.